Welcome to our practice. We're at the wall today. What I love about a wall-based practice is usually I can go deeper into my expressions while using it as a prop. But in this case, in particular, I'm going to focus on letting myself surrender to the wall. So the wall and gravity do all the work. In the meantime, I can work on relaxing and doing a little bit less. I think we glorify this concept that we always need to be busy or doing something or having all these things on our plate when most of us are really desperate to just slow down a little. So what I want you to have obviously is a space at the wall. Something comfortable, whether it's a blanket like me or throw down your yoga mat. If you want a block or a small pillow for your head. And for those of you who are working on that flexibility, at some point, you can add some ankle weights, which is what I'll be doing. So go ahead and find your spot at the wall and try to enjoy doing a little bit less. And bonus, we're gonna be opening the hips while we're at it. You made wrinkles. There you go. She's ready and so am I. Once you found your spot, we're gonna go into Viparini Karini, which means legs up the wall, which is exactly like what it sounds like. The easiest thing to do is come right next to the wall. You wanna get as close as possible, down onto the elbows and pivot the hips to bring your legs up the wall. Or in my case, up the door. It's okay if your hips don't touch the wall, but we want to be relatively close, so just a couple inches are okay. And then once you're ready, palms face the ceiling, resting by your sides. If you don't feel like you're close enough, come in and come out and then join us by closing your eyes. Start with an initial body scan, what's going on today in the mind, any obvious tension you can let go of in the body. And I want you to breathe with me. Full inhale. Side out. Try to let some of the tension go. Again, breathe in. Side out. Take as many rounds as you need to. Just to let go. Try to be present here with me. Notice your body's need to fidget or if you can just simply drop in. Seeing if you can actually do nothing for a little while. The first pose we're going to do is a variation of pigeon. Taking the left leg down and you'll cross the ankle just underneath the knee on the upper thigh to the right. And depending on your hips, you already may begin to feel the stretch. And for those of you who want to go further, take your right foot a little further down the wall. We don't want to come so far into this pose that our hips lift off the ground. So if your hips are floating, you may need to come up a little with that right foot. And normally I have you flex your left foot, but we're restorative today. So relax the left foot. And just begin some small micro movements. I'm going to allow my hips to pull to the right. And then back to center. Just moving freely on the breath. Even a gentle push of the left fingers into the thigh. Extending that hip a little closer to the wall might help you go deeper. And try to find a spot where you can dive into that sensation through the left hip. 
and hold. Keeping just enough awareness to gently begin to push your left hip closer to the wall if you feel like you want to go deeper. Try to relax your body. Full breath in. And on the exhale, send that energy to your left hip. Make some small micro movements. Maybe finding a new angle or a deeper expression. And drop back in. Coming back to center, both legs come back up to the wall and just notice your two sides or change. Setting up for right side, guide that ankle down the left and remember your two sides may be different so this might be it for you. Otherwise, the left foot comes down the wall. Do not let the hips lift, right? So if you need to come up a little bit, do so. Start that gentle rock or sway to the left. Try to feel the muscle fibers pulling through the right hip as you move. Find a spot to pause and linger. Learn how to use your breath. Next exhale, push your right hip towards the wall. Small adjustments. Maybe use that right palm to push the thigh away. Sink back in. Another breath in, exhale it out. Easing back to center, resuming our legs up the wall, palms resting by your sides, feel your shoulders get heavy towards the floor. Can you notice change? Be taking this into a straddle pose. So make sure the knees and the toes are turned out and you're gonna slide those legs apart. We're gonna be here a while. 
If at any point you need a little break, you can come into a bound angle or a butterfly pose, which is where we're going next. But we've got a little bit of a progression here. We're gonna be holding the pose from different angles for five minutes. So taking that first minute to just initially drop in. Body scan, notice if you're resisting. Soften through the inner thighs. see if we can try to isolate the two sides. So begin by lifting your left leg maybe halfway up the wall and try to drop your right leg a little further, maybe all the way down towards the floor. And then drop the left leg to its edge. So you should feel like you're isolating the right side, getting a really tense stretch. Once you're there, Try to relax again. Take a body scan. Make sure you're present. And is that right leg fighting back with you? Can you soften? Right hand comes underneath the leg, nice and slow, guided up the wall, maybe halfway. And begin to guide that left leg down towards the floor. Once it's down or close to, then begin to drop the right to wherever it will go. Again, here we wanna relax everything. You should feel a deeper sensation, isolating the left side. Give me a minute here. Try not to fight back. Try to relax into it. And left hand comes underneath that leg. Go ahead and try to bring yourself back to center. Let's right, see if you can go a little bit deeper. Remaining two minutes here. And again, if you need that break, take your butterfly. This might be one you need to work up to. Shoulders relax into the floor, palms face the ceiling. Full breath in, side out. Try to let the tension wash out of your body. Breathe in and around the sensation through the exhale. And any thoughts, I want you to watch them from a distance. Try to detach.
moving slowly, guide those legs towards center. Soles of the feet will come together, come right into a bound angle Baddha Konasana pose. So the pinky edge side of the foot to the wall. You can start by just gently pushing the knees open with your hands if you choose. But that, at some point, just relax the arms to your sides. Try to breathe deeper through the belly. Take your right hand to your inner thigh and push it towards the wall. And then the left, softening the right. Go back and forth between the two, pressing the knee to the wall, and then shifting to the left. Both together. And then relax the hands again. Hold your pose. Do nothing. Hands will come underneath the legs to bring them to center. Feet to the wall, knees bent towards the chest. Getting ready for a twist, left arm out to the side. Begin to walk your feet down the wall to the right. See if you can get your legs all the way down. And if the left shoulder is lifted, counterbalance. Push the left leg into the right hand to get that left shoulder to the floor. I want you to feel the compression of the twist. Breathe into it. Exhale, soften around it. Releasing that bind. Feet walk through center. Over to the left. See if you can get all the way to the floor. Counterbalance, left hand comes to outer right thigh. We want to get both shoulders to the floor. That is for a parasympathetic response. Tapping into rest and digest. Look to the right. Breathe in full. Side out. One more breath in. And completing that exhale, begin to pull those legs back to center, legs up the wall. Just to even out, press the heels in, lift and lower the hips to realign the spine. Coming full circle. Just observe any changes or shifts in your body in your mind. Usually it's not until we drop into stillness and quiet 
that we can hear any words from our higher self. Little words of wisdom are things that we need to hear that we've been ignoring. Is there anything that you need to hear right now? Something you've been neglecting? Inhale the arms overhead. And begin to pull the knees down the wall, moving slowly. Transition to one side, take a fetal pose. Press into palms and find your way up to a comfortable seat. Use this practice whenever you need a little escape from the world or maybe before bed. I know our minds need it and our hips will thank us as well. Hopefully I get to work with you soon, whether it's at the wall or just on the mat. And until then, namaste. Look at that down dog.